What is going on guys? Welcome at long last to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War content on the channel. My name is Tide and today I have a brand new series to introduce to you, Black Ops Cold War Gold Camo Guides, where I'll be using the best moments from my daily Road to Dark Matter Twitch live streams, as well as well thought of commentary, frequently asked questions, creative class builds, and tips to help you guys unlock the hardest camouflage patterns in the most recent Call of Duty game. And today we're starting with a doozy, a DEFCON 1, if I had to say so myself, the Sigma 2 rocket launcher. This was the very first weapon I went for gold on, and I would highly recommend that you get this one out of the way as soon as possible because it very well may be the hardest weapon to unlock gold on in the entire game, and it is only going to get harder the longer you wait to use it. So there are three different categories of camos to unlock on this weapon, whereas most other weapons you can use them in any other situation and you'll unlock all the camos at once. With the Sigma 2, there are three different categories, aerial streaks, ground streaks, and infantry kills. So we'll be breaking them down by category. There will be timestamps provided in the description down below so you can skip ahead to certain challenges. But before we get started on the aerial streaks, I'd like to give you guys some pointers on rocket launcher camos in Black Ops Cold War in general. Three things you should come to terms with. Number one, your KD will be affected. You're going to do horribly with these launchers. You're going to die a lot. Number two, patience is a virtue. I streamed for 21 straight hours from the minute this game came out using nothing but the Sigma 2 rocket launcher to unlock gold on this weapon. It takes a long time. Number three, if you'd like to keep your challenge progress, do not back out of games. Treyarch will penalize you for manually leaving games by reverting all of your challenges back to where they were before you began. However, if you happen to be kicked for team killing or inactivity, all of your challenge progress still happens to track. Now there isn't much to say, but let's quickly go over aerial score streak challenges for the Sigma 2 launcher. This is what this weapon was designed for. Surface to air, it locks on. It's very easy to shoot down aerial score streaks, though I would recommend you get it done now and not later because a lot more players tend to use spy planes, care packages, lighter streaks that you can shoot down in a single rocket earlier in a game's life cycle. The challenges are to destroy 25 score streaks, destroy 50 aerial score streaks specifically, and destroy three score streaks in a single game 10 times. I recommend you use aerial streaks for all of these challenges. My recommended class build begins with the engineer perk to more easily recognize score streaks in the sky and on your minimap. The danger close wildcard allows you to spawn with extra rockets. Scavenger allows you to resupply rockets as does the assault pack field upgrade. Anything to give you more firepower. You can do this on any mode and any map. The only question I could think you may have about aerial score streaks is for the science camo, destroying three score streaks in a single game 10 times, where the question would be, will it count as two out of 10 if I destroy six score streaks in a single game? And the answer of course is yes, I finished this challenge in just two games after destroying over 20 score streaks in a single game. Moving on to the fun stuff now, let's talk about ground score streaks. The challenge is to destroy 50 ground score streaks or enemy vehicles, hint, or enemy vehicles. The class I think you'll recognize has engineer to more easily spot ground score streaks and vehicles, danger close to start with more rockets, scavenger and assault pack to resupply rockets, but this time you'll also want to bring semtex grenades. The mode that you'll want to play for this one is combined arms. Combined arms is that 12v12 ground war mode that incorporates vehicles into the standard multiplayer combat that includes tanks, sleds, jet skis, gunboats, motorcycles. These are easier to destroy than the very, very small selection of ground score streaks in the game. So combined arms is the way to go. The maps you're looking for in combined arms are Armada and Crossroads. Currently, Cartel is the only other option, and while that map does have vehicles, you'll quickly find out that nobody likes to use the vehicles on Cartel. Moving on to our FAQ section for the ground score streaks, which streaks count as ground-based? The only two streaks in the game that count as ground-based score streaks right now are the RCXD and the Sentry Gun, so that's why I recommend you go after vehicles instead. Question number two, does killing enemies carrying handheld streaks like the combat bow or the war machine count? I've tried this with both, and no, it does not count to kill enemies that are using a war machine or a combat bow. Question number three, which vehicles count towards this challenge? 
any vehicle available in combined arms or fire team dirty bomb currently occupied by an enemy is fair game. Question number four to further expand and clarify on question number three. Do gunboats and jet skis also count as ground-based vehicles despite being watercraft? Surprisingly, yes, they do count. In fact, I would highly recommend it. The vehicles in the water are easier to destroy because you can fire at them from the safety of below the water's surface. And finally, question number five, must there be an enemy in the vehicle when I destroy it? And to that, I'd say yes and no. This one is a little tricky. For the most part, I would say absolutely there must be an enemy in the vehicles when you destroy them for it to count. However, I have had tiers of this challenge complete on vehicles that were recently exited by enemies. For example, I would be firing at a tank, hit it with three rockets, it would be extremely weak. The enemy would jump out right as the fourth rocket is on its way, making that vehicle vacant. But as the rocket hits, the challenge pops up and it counts. So I'd say as long as you are weakening the vehicle or as long as the vehicle is close enough to an enemy that when it explodes, it kills an enemy as well, it may count. But for the most part, you're going to be killing enemy vehicles while they are occupied. I'm sure you've gathered by now, I strongly recommend you go after vehicles and not score streaks, but which vehicles should you be focusing on? Motorcycles, jet skis, and sleds all require a single rocket to kill, making them the easiest target. However, most players tend to not use them after the initial starting point of a match. They instead go for the tanks and gunboats, which require three to four rockets. To destroy tanks and gunboats a little bit more easily, you can use the buddy system, where you have teammates weaken enemy tanks and gunboats before you fire the final rocket at it. Or, if you're by yourself, you don't have any friends, no judgment here, you can use the solo Semtech strategy that I've designed exactly for this purpose. Using a Semtex grenade on a tank or a gunboat will weaken it to the point where you can destroy it in a single rocket. Now the catch is you must stick the gunboat or the tank from full health. If you stick it with a Semtex, a single rocket is all it takes to destroy these vehicles. So Semtex, stick, hit it with a rocket, and you're done. If you've made it this far, do me a favor, head over to my Twitch channel. It's linked in the description down below, or you can search Tide347 on Twitch. Give it a follow. I'm very nearly at 150 followers. I've got new panels, a new logo, new emotes, lots of fun stuff happening on Twitch every single day. I'm streaming every single day on the road to Dark Matter Camo in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But next up, it's that dreaded time, infantry kills. Infantry kills are what make this launcher so notoriously difficult to unlock gold camouflage. In fact, in my opinion, these are what make this weapon the hardest weapon in the game to unlock gold camouflage and mastery for. It simply doesn't have enough damage to get kills on the regular and core game modes without direct impacts and not enough accuracy to get direct impacts even if you tried. But more on that in the FAQ section. For now, the challenges you'll have to complete with the Sigma 2 are to eliminate 50 enemies, get 23 kill streaks using the Sigma 2, and get 25 double kills using the Sigma 2. For the class build, we're going to use Flak Jacket rather than Engineer. Flak Jacket will protect you against your own explosive damage just a little bit. It may save your life in a do or die circumstance. And last but far from least, Danger Close, Scavenger, and Assault Pack have never been more important than they are right now. You can get away with destroying score streaks with fewer rockets, but you can't get a three kill streak with the Sigma 2 when you only start with two rockets. For the mode, you're gonna be playing hardcore. In fact, I would recommend hardcore domination in particular, so you know where enemies are spawning and you can kind of stack up and wait for them to come to you. For maps, anything with rooms, walls, and elevation is what you're looking for. Moscow, Armada Strike, Crossroad Strike, Garrison, and Miami stand out to me. Satellite is one of the worst maps in the game for this challenge. It's very, very difficult to shoot rockets uphill. For the FAQ section, what makes this so difficult? Why is it so hard to kill enemies with this rocket launcher? The Sigma 2 is intended as an anti-score streak launcher. We touched on this at the beginning for the aerial streaks. Because the rockets from this weapon lock on, the launcher features an inherent design flaw which is little to no blast radius. The rockets are intended to hit their target every time, so why would it need splash damage? So when you fire at enemies, if you don't hit them directly, you're going to have very little splash damage. And unless you're in hardcore, that means hit markers in core mode. 
You also need near to direct impacts even in hardcore mode because of the very limited splash damage on this launcher. It also has incredibly slow handling, so even in hardcore modes, movement, ADS, firing speed, reload speed, etc., it's all super slow. And ADS is also required before you fire this weapon, so even if you pull the trigger without aiming down sights, your character has to aim down sights before they fire it. So in hardcore modes, when you come around a corner and you do that cowboy showdown against an enemy, they're going to be able to kill you extremely quickly from the hip before you can hoist this giant launcher up and fire at them. And then even if you do fire, you'll probably miss because the rocket is unguided and it just shoots off in a crazy arc on a direction of its own. It's completely random. It's terrible. So next question, for the three kill streaks, can you alternate between the Sigma and other weapons? For example, can you switch to another weapon first to get yourself situated? Absolutely. As long as you get three kills with the Sigma in a single life, doesn't matter if it's kill one, five, and six in that life, it counts. You just need to get three before you die. Question number three, again for the three kill streak challenge, would a six kill streak count towards the challenge twice? As if it would ever happen, I may have done this once, but yes, it will count. Every three kills in a single life counts as one notch towards the challenge, so a six kill streak would result in two out of 23 kill streaks. Question number four, for the double kills, can I kill enemies with separate rockets rather than killing multiple enemies with a single rocket? This is possible, but not probable. The issue being the time allotted for the double kill isn't much longer than the reload speed of the rocket launcher itself. So the second rocket would have to be fired and you'd have to get a kill almost immediately following the reload from the first kill. So it's not likely to happen, but it can happen. You're far better off going for double or triple kills with a single rocket, which isn't easy either by any means, but it's easier than trying to fire reload fire because most of those kills will not count. And finally, question number five, this one may lighten your load. Do melee kills with the launcher count towards challenges, as in eliminations, double kills, three kill streaks? Yes, they do. For all three challenges, if you melee with the launcher, it will count towards those challenges. Double kills are a little bit easier to do when you melee one guy that's unaware and then rocket his buddy. It's easier than shooting them with two different rockets, let's just say that. So now you know my class map and mode recommendations, how the challenge works and what makes a challenge so difficult, the last thing we have to do is talk tips. And my main tip is, unfortunately, grab a gaming headset, crank it up, sit in a corner and listen for footsteps. It's toxic, it's terrible, I know, but if you want to get your challenges done on this rocket launcher, you will heed my advice. This launcher excels at a passive playstyle, it excels at sitting in a corner, it excels at sitting at the end of a hallway, aim down sights looking at a door. It's the only way that you're going to get this challenge done. Elevation is key here, and shooting uphill is never easy, that's why I recommend those maps where you can shoot around corners or you can shoot down on enemies. Try to get a really high spot, look down and shoot down on enemies if you can. If not, try to shoot at enemies in tight corridors, around corners, in hallways, through doorways, things like that. Playing domination specifically with teammates on comms is a great way to know where enemies are coming from at any given time so that you can prepare an ambush at certain choke points throughout the maps. Your double kills will ramp up as you gain map knowledge in Black Ops Cold War. You'll learn the high traffic areas, you'll learn where to put your rockets where most people tend to go, and you'll get more double, triple, multi-kills over time. So keep at it, keep trying. Remember, patience is a virtue. Last thing I have for you is to pray. Honestly, it's a really ridiculous challenge. It takes a lot out of you. It takes a long time. It's not fun, but it will be fun when you have that dark matter camo on all of your weapons eventually in time. The launchers are definitely the hardest challenge in the game. I will have an RPG video coming out very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like. Comment down below any questions you have about the Sigma 2 if I didn't answer anything. If you have a specific weapon in mind that you'd like me to cover in the future. Anything like that, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitch and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Gold camo. Master badge. My lord. Done. Fucking gold, baby. It looks like shit. <laughs>